My first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actress. And beginning on October 21st, you can see her in the film North Country. We're thrilled to have her here tonight. Please welcome Charlize Theron. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, fellas. <laughs> and one lady. Uh, I'm so unprofessional and dorky, you just gave me a little kiss on the cheek and I went, thank you. I've been doing this for like, you know, 12 years. Thank you for being here, though. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I look nice. And, you uh, look great. <laughs> I love dragging that out of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have you. And, and North Country, this is, I mean, things have been going so well for you, but now there's so much buzz and excitement about this film. You've got an amazing cast, too. Incredible, yeah. Francis McDormand, one of my favorite people. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Had you worked, had you, I mean, do you like working with Woody Harrelson? He's such a character. Uh, yeah, I love Woody. Woody's amazing, yeah. Really? Woody's a good time, you know? This was a very serious film to make, and, you know, at the end of the day, you really needed to kind of let it all out, and mm -hmm. Woody was the guy to be around, for sure. You know, it's one of those, in this movie, it's so intense, and I don't, we'll get into the plot in just a bit, but basically, your character is just under fire all the time in this film. All the time, yeah. A lot of uh, men, uh, male characters, you know, sexually harassing you, treating you badly, and then what would you do to sort of relieve the heaviness of that when they yelled, cut? Well, this is loosely inspired by real events, and mm -hmm. these women went to go work in these mines, and that was considered a man's job, and they were sexually harassed by mm -hmm. the men. So every single day, pretty much, was, you know, all of us women going to work and having these nasty things yelled at us. Right. It wasn't planned, mm -hmm. but it just turned out that at the end of the day, or even in between takes, the women started sexually harassing the men. Really? <laughs> That's, that sounds fun, actually. I'd like to be an extra on that set. Yeah, uh, Woody was exactly the same. Woody actually still calls me today for a little sexual harassment. So you would sexually harass Woody? Like, they'd be done with the take, and then yeah. um, how would you sexually harass him? Would you physically lay your hands on him? Grab a cheek. Uh, a butt cheek. <laughs> Grab a cheek. Wow, yeah. really? That's incredible. You just well, they, they were there and... worse to us, okay? Let me just say that. And wow. In, in, uh, and, and in all seriousness, this... I found with the real women when I, were talk when I was talking to them that they would relay their stories to me in a humorous way. And I think mm -hmm. it's a way to protect yourself, you know? Right, right. If you can make fun of it, it doesn't affect you, you know? But yeah, right. you just cup a cheek. <laughs> cup a cheek. Yeah, a, go ahead, go for it. Just cup go. A cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that was sort of under my leg. <laughs> Right there. Uh, uh, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, I know that you, you're in a relationship. You have a boyfriend. Does he ever get concerned when, My you know... sexual harassment? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out there sexually harassing other guys yeah. on a movie set. Does he ever worry about things like he that? He gets his own share of sexual harassment. Good, good. But no, you know, I, it's very funny. I mean, I... <clears throat> I have a... He doesn't have to worry because I don't... I'm not like normal girls that, mm -hmm. you know, have crushes on like young guys. Like, if they're hunched over and old, that's, those are the ones I have crushes you, on. You really, really, you like a real, you like an old guy. You like a really old guy. I do, I've just always, yeah. I'm 64 years old, by the way. <laughs> Like, real, you know, real men, yeah. You know, so so what kind of guys in the real world do you like? Can you give any names? Like, just guys that you... Well, I'm asking you because I actually heard somewhere that you were attracted to Ozzy Osbourne. And I was curious if that's yeah. true. Yeah. You like Ozzy Osbourne. That's cool. I do. I really do. I didn't grow up with the whole Black Sabbath, so I don't know his past. I, I right. just kind of grew up with him on that reality TV show. I love that that's the Ozzy you fell in love with. <laughs> Not the guy who's with Black Sabbath, but the goofball in the mansion, chasing Sh Sharon and a puppy, and that's the guy who was like, the "That's guy, that's my guy." Yeah, because cool. everybody's like, you know, he was, you know, biting, which I'm not cool with, heads of birds and. Rats that was earlier and, on. He yeah, was biting the. I think yeah. he bit the head off of yeah, a that, dove. Yeah, that that I'm not cool with, but you know, him kind of wobbling through his house. 
go right. shower. Yeah. Right, right. It's vulnerable. You like a guy with some vulnerability. I do. I do. He's a sweetheart. I love I love that episode when he was writing a song for her and it was all romantic and he was calling her and she was shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh. He is one of the sweetest people I've ever met in real life. Like we've so had sweet. it here a bunch of times and I've worked with him and he is such a sweet guy. So I'm ha I have a crush on a sweet guy. You have a crush true. on a sweet guy, yes. which is nice. I've heard you say that that interviews, you have to obviously do a lot of interviews in your work, talk about your work. You said interviews are like blind dates. They are a little bit. They are. I mean, not you. We're like old lovers. We're like. We're like <laughs> it's true. We're like we're like an old married couple. You know? well, let's not even... take it too far. <laughs> but there's still some passion there, right? No, we're. I'm, what do you mean, like, no? <laughs> I don't even brush my teeth anymore. Right, like, that's right, where we right. Are. We're just that comfortable with each other. I'm like an old sock. The honeymoon's way over. Yeah, with that's us. great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Now I'm getting depressed. Just no. Cup of cheek. Cup of just cheek. Cup yeah, of right cheek. there. Anytime you want. Anytime you want. Um, <laughs> I gotta settle down. Uh, I get so happy when you come to the show. I don't. Um, now, seriously, there is for North Country, and I, 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 it's such a cliche Oscar buzz, but people really are talking about you and your performance in this film, Aww. again, in that caliber. Is that any less exciting to you this time around now that you've, you've won the award, or is it just as thrilling that that might happen? You know what? Look, they, they could be saying things like, the movie sucks and she sucks. Right, right. So I'd much rather have this Sure, version. sure. Yeah, it's nice. But, um... You know, it, it's it's like I, I'm trying to find an analogy for it, and I can't come up with one. The only thing I can come up with is like when your house is filled with groceries, mm -hmm. thinking about buying groceries again. Right. You right. know what I mean? Sure. I I went through the experience, and it was it's a horrible analogy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But I could have a lot of kettle corn in the house, but I still might buy more kettle corn <laughs> if I see it. Doesn't that help? I'm an idiot. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, I know what you mean. It's 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 been an incredible journey. The making the film was really like you said. The cast was incredible. So that's kind of the gift, you mm -hmm. know. Whatever, I hope people go and see it, and I hope people love it. I'm incredibly proud of it. And whatever happens is really out of your hands. It's in the hands of the gods, mm -hmm. the gods of sexual harassment. Yes, anytime you want. I'm just gonna move. Uh, <laughs> we have a clip here from North Country. Uh, anything we need to know to to set this up. Uh, this is a clip where I go to Woody, who plays a lawyer who has uh, come back to the North Country, to Minnesota, and uh, he's going through a divorce. But anyway, he's a lawyer, and I have now quit my job at the mine. I've had enough, and I'm going to him to ask him to help me sue the company. Which ends up being the first, I think, the class first, action suit. This is the first class action sexual harassment suit ever. Let's take a look at this clip from North Country. I need a lawyer. I want to sue the mine, the company, all of them. Well, good luck with that. I'm saying I want to hire you. Sorry. Don't do that anymore. Well, that sucks, because you were the only lawyer I ever met. Well, the good news is, all roads lead to lawyers. Tell you what, I will buy you a beer, though. I don't need a beer. I need a lawyer. North Country opens October 21st. Yeah. And uh, you're guest starring. It's a really funny part, too. You've been guest starring on Arrested Development, which yes. returns yes. November 7th yes. for British eyes only. Yes. Uh, Returns no, uh, November 7th on Fox, so watch that. Please We're, watch it. It's great. It's a really funny show. And you know what? Thank you so much for Thank making you. time for us. Thank and congratulations. Yeah. Charlize Theron, Cameron Crowe coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.